very good evening to you and welcome to the Coliseum in La Coruña for the men's 62 kilo category and also action from this afternoon's women's competitions coming up a little later. Hello, I'm David Goldstrom together with seven times Commonwealth Games gold medalist David Morgan and there are the seven who face the judges this evening in the men's 62 kilo competition and a really good competition in prospect because it includes the world champion Leonidas uh, Sabanis of, and his great rival from uh, Bulgaria Stefan Georgiev and Stefan Georgiev and uh, Sabanis actually at the moment are one all in their meetings it's not by any means a two-horse race because there's also Nikolai Poshalov of Croatia who's very much in the medal hunt. But we're going to see the action now get underway with this man, Alexei Bortkov, representing Russia, weighing in at 61 kilos, 94. So the heaviest of the seven. So not an auspicious start for this man, 23 years of age, from Moscow. Yes, opening there with 125 kilos and getting in a height on the bar. And that, that's nowhere near, actually. And it could well be that he's going to uh, follow himself, which gives us a chance to tell you about one or two who are in the lineup. Also, I should mention uh, Hafiz Suleiman Oglu of uh, Turkey and also Seb Dalim Minchev of Bulgaria. So uh, the Bulgarians double handed in this uh, final. But here's Bortkov. Useful junior. Junior world champion back in 1996, took triple gold there, gold in the snatch, the clean and jerk, and the uh, overall. And he's also been a junior European champion. In fact, he completed that in 1996 as well. Since when, of course, the weight categories have changed. Just about, I think, David. Well, that's better. But of course, it's, it's okay being here, but. Uh... Taking the step from junior to senior is, is very difficult. The standard being much higher at the senior level. But that's much better than his first attempt. So he's now got 125. But I don't really think he's going to be in with a chance of a medal. This is just experience. Yes, he's, as I said, also got the disadvantage of being the heaviest man of the finalists here. So that's a really uh, tough battle, but nonetheless, he's got to find out now whether he's up to the uh, grade, and indeed the Russians have got to find out whether he's up to perhaps an Olympic opportunity in a year or so from now in the uh, Sydney Games. So the bar now moving to 130 kilos, that's 286 pounds. And again, another man with uh, not a huge pedigree. This is Gennady Oleshuk of the Belarus team. He's suggesting that he can total 315 kilos this evening. And to do that, he's really going to have to start with this 130. Well, I think that 315 is, is a gross exaggeration. And of course, this is what's been happening the whole time. Indeed, we've seen this, uh, although this is only day two of these European championships, we've run into a real problem which the international and the European Federation are going to have to get to grips with here. The situation is that uh, basically the coaches put in the kilos that they think 
their men are up to lifting. It should be based strictly on competition results, but it isn't ex an exact science. And what happens is that you have a lot of men who want to get their lifters and their women into the A finals to see them on the major stage and they inflate their figures beyond reality. The result of which is uh, often you see, or it's all too often, we see lifters moving up from the B group into medal positions. And there's quite a lot of uh, interest as to what should be done about this. Maybe specific qualifying competitions, a few more to make sure that the results can be realistically based. Or perhaps the Federation should nominate the standard for the first lift, which means that the coaches will then have to realise the abilities of their men. Absolutely. Anyway, your thoughts on that would be welcome. We have um, an email contact number for you and I'll give you that a little later but here meanwhile is Ole Shuk with his second snatch he's got uh, the best part of a minute still so plenty of time well he made exactly the same mistake as on the first lift but uh, this time took a couple of steps back just to correct it so he now has 130 each man, of course, having uh, three lifts in the snatch and again the clean and jerk. Uh, must emphasize that the European Championships very different from the Olympic Games when only one overall medal is available. But here there are gold, silver and bronze medals for the snatch, the clean and jerk and the overall championship. Bortkov back on, going for a five kilo increase. Yes, and he'll do well to succeed with this. Remember, he fell with 125 and succeeded. Well, by the records that we've got, which are a bit flimsy, but it does suggest that 130 is the best he's done. But not today. Certainly not today. So he has to settle on 125 and now sit back and see what the others can do. The bar now going to 132.5 kilos. For the appearance of Stefan Georgiev, the European champion at 62 kilos a year ago in Germany. And he's a man who has shown himself to be much more effective at the snatch than he is at the clean and jerk. So he's got to make his money count in a particular division. Although having said that, David, he, he is actually down to start. 170 kilos, which is more than he's ever done on the clean and jerk. So maybe, uh, maybe he's realised his weaknesses in the clean and jerk and gone home and, and, and worked hard on that phase of the competition. Good start. And uh, Georgiev of Bulgaria, 24 years of age, from Sofia. Six. 66. Kilos, 61 kilos, 64. The motorcycle world championships are back, and all 16 rounds. Georgia, Gorgiev, I should say, 24 years of age, and uh, Minchev uh, wise. Minchev been lifting in the national team now for eight years. That was much better than his first. Yes, Minchev looking very, very good today. And uh, married. Got a young daughter, Hustina, who's four years of age. Just about uh, becoming old enough to uh, probably recognize what dad does for a living. And now the world champion, Leonidas uh, Sabanis, quiet man. It's quite funny. Unfortunately, I don't speak Greek, so uh, I would never understand any of the jokes, but. Uh, our colleagues from Greece who are here tell, them, tell us that he's uh, quite the 
joke teller and the funny man of the team. They're coming in here at 140 kilos for his opening attempt. This, of course, to take the lead. Seven and a half kilos below the uh, European and world record, which he holds. 140 kilograms on the barrel, 140 And Sabanis from Athens. Now, for Turkey, here comes Zero. That's his nickname. Hafiz Sulimanoglu. It's a pretty unkind nickname, I have to say, but this man, all too often in his career, has uh, zeroed out, failed to get a total, and the big secret for him is to get the first lift in. If he gets the first lift in, then the confidence comes, but if he doesn't, then it could be nothing. Not related to the great Naim Sulimanoglu, they just happen to have the same name. Nevertheless, this man can be dangerous. Well, that's exactly it. The uh, nickname Zero, well, it was applied after the uh, Games of 1996 because he zeroed out in 92 in Barcelona and zeroed into. And I'm afraid it's uh, an unkind name which has stuck. He was down to start at 135. His warm up must have gone fairly well for him to increase the poundage to 140. He's a man who's uh, not just competed for Turkey, he started his international career uh, lifting for what was the Soviet Union and then uh, came to Turkey. For example, in 1990, because he's been lifting for quite a long time in the World Championships, he got a snatch goal, but then didn't get a clean and jerk, didn't get a total. But 1997 actually won the European title. You know what's interesting? He doesn't have a very gainy technique. He takes close, unusually close grip on the snatch. But when we see him a bit later, he takes an unusually wide grip on the clean and jerk. And he said that, this is still 140 kilos. Plenty of time, over 45 seconds. There's that uh, grip. Motivating himself. Come on. That's better. Really? Well, that puts him right back into the competition. Still makes it hard because he's got a difficult decision to make now. Obviously, we don't know what his original thoughts were, whether to go in two and a half kilo increments or whether he would have gone for 147 and a half. Now, we have to wait and see. Meanwhile, this is Georgiev, two and a half kilo increase. Well, Hafiz at the moment is in silver. This lift, if successful, would put Georgiev into the gold medal position. And I think he was just waiting there for the 30 second buzzer to go before starting. Needs to hold. <laughs> she does. <laughs> and I think the celebrations. Good lift. He was a terrific junior, but he's really making his mark now in the senior ranks. There's a Bozhev 
the great coaching guru, in fact, a Bajiev, the first Bulgarian ever to win a World Championship gold medal. That was amazing, the way, the way he looked up at the weight there. Usually when you look up, your balance goes back. He managed to bring the head forward and stand. Just look at this, looks right up. He pushes the head through and stands. So he, in fact, now takes the lead. Indeed he does. 140 kilos and 61 kilos, 64. Now Minchev. Yes, he's even lighter, 61.50. So if he succeeds with this, he will take the lead. And we'll still have one more lift to go. And he does look good tonight. So the Bulgarian men, first and second at the moment. Leonidas Sabanis in third place, but he's got two lifts to go. But that's, look at the speed, really athletic and absolutely clear about what he had to do. Second attempt for Nikolai Pesalov, Bulgaria. Second attempt for Nikolai Pesalov, Bulgaria. Next lifter, Leonidas Sabanis. So Pesalov out for his second lift. Five kilo increase going up to 142 and a half, which would take him into the lead. And remember, Pasharlov, also the lightest man in the competition. So this is, in a sense, worth... 145. Couple, it's worth 145 because of the prep that he's going to put on the likes of Sabanis and Sunimanoglu. Yes, this is a crucial lift. But Charlotte, who got it all wrong in the World Championships, determined not to make the same errors here today. Oh, lovely technician. That was much better than his first lift. So he now takes the lead with 142.5 and still one attempt remaining. Perfect technique. Remember, if you go back to the World Championships, if you were with us in Lati, or perhaps even if you weren't, just to remind you that uh, Leonidas Sabanis actually got the better of him. He was uh, the lighter man, fractionally, by 40 grams, and he forced Pasharlov into a 150 attempt in the snatch in Finland, and that was beyond Pasharlov. Now here's uh, Suleiman Oglu, third attempt, and he's just taking the minimum. Ah. Well, there's only 22 seconds on the clock. Now, is this correct? He's got 15 seconds on the clock. I, the jury seem to be in two minds what to do. Eight seconds. And I'm not convinced about the time on that at all, David. I, I, I just think the management, which has been somewhat lacking. Yes, I mean, there's, there's five members of the jury, the referees, and, and none of them seem to know what they're doing. I mean, he, to me, he did not have a full minute there to lift. Mind you, there's no protest. Well, if I was the Turkish coach, I'd be, I'd be protesting that now. Sabanis is out for 145. This, of course, will be two and a half kilos more than Pasharlov. Pasharlov, of course, with one lift to come and the lighter body weight. So, a lot of pressure on Leonidas now. But this will give him the lead. But he needs to get it. If he doesn't get it, then he really will be under pressure. That's good. He always looks as if he's in great, this man. But he does the job really well. Now that, that means, though, David, that now Pasharlov has to make a decision. He has to look at this lift and he has to decide whether he's going to take 145 and then allow Sab Sabinas 
to take 147.5. Riffy is indeed going to take 147.5. Now, Peshalov, as I mentioned a few moments ago, in the World Championships, he got himself into a situation where he was pushed to take 150, which he couldn't do. Now, he's being a lot more conservative. He's taking 145. If he does this, of course, he's going to take the lead because, he, because he's the lighter man, and then Leonidas will have to lift and equal the world and European record if he wants to take the snatch. Yes, so Peshalov is gambling that he can't do that. And the Turkish coaches, I can tell you, are by the side of the just speak. Well, the gold medal has been decided. Indeed. Savinis is already the gold medalist in the snatch anyway. But it'll be interesting to see now whether he opts to take the... 147.5 to increase his lead or whether he goes for a record i i think if he's feeling up to it he might as well put half a kilo on and go for a new record uh, if he's feeling good enough for that and he has done just that 148 now the jury have woken up and we might well get another lift for the turkish lifter Hafiz salimanoglu i'm not sure if that's the right decision by sabinis because Pasharlov is known for his strength in the clean and jerk. On a good day, he's very, very strong on the clean and jerk. And if I was Savinis, I would, I would take the 140. I think I would, if I was coaching him, I would tell him to take the 147.5 to increase the lead and gain that advantage on the clean and jerk. Because I think he may need that five kilos. Well, I tell you what, half the Greek army's out the back there, trying to uh, work out what's to happen. But of course, the Turks have now said, look, our man wasn't given a full minute and we want him to have another lift. And the Greeks are upset with that because that's... They want, their man, they want their man out now. <laughs> they've broken the concentration. So a little, little neighborly upset. And there's, ya well, you can't see Yakavu, the main Greek guy saying, what on earth is going on here? Come on, chaps get your act together and I have to say I have some sympathy for both the Greeks and the Turks in this because the, the five men in jackets I'm afraid seemed to me as if they were totally sleeping it was perfectly obvious to all of us that um, Hafiz Suleiman Ognu did not get an honest minute in make his lift I think that's fair comment David oh definitely but it's just a question now who, who goes first Sabinis or Suleiman Ognu well, since the competition has actually stopped at this point, I would suggest that um, Hafez Sumanimanoglu should be given the lift first because his situation is that if he was to lift 145 kilos, he would suddenly find himself in a medal position. He's 61.76, so he can't depose Sabanis. Well, it looks to me that, they're, 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 that the world record attempt is going to come first. Whether or not they're going to let Suleiman Oglu have another attempt is debatable. So 148 kilos for a new European standard. A new European standard and indeed a new old standard. And again, we've got this this problem with the time. 28 seconds. 28 seconds. They've, they've, they've done it wrong again. And this is a this is a a world record. The guy has got attempt. It's got 20 seconds. This really isn't good for the concentration of lifters. The, this this jury really should get their act together. 15 I don't know seconds. what they're doing. 11, 10, 9, 8. Well, I think to be fair to Sabanese, he had just about everything against him there. As you've said, he now finds himself in a situation only two and a half kilos ahead of Pasharov and time will tell how critical that failure is but the jury are totally asleep on two occasions and having been alerted to it in the Turkish situation I if the Greeks are really alert to it they should be coming out here like a railway train to make exactly the same protest well Suleiman Oglu is getting a, an extra attempt he's getting a 442.5 and and this if he were to lift it, would depose Sevdali Minchev of Bulgaria of the bronze medal. Because at the moment, he's sitting in third place with 140 kilos ahead of Stefan Georgiev of Bulgaria. 
body weight separating those two into third and fourth position. But Suleiman Ognu, well, he actually has now been given a true minute. And one wonders if Sabanis is going to now ask for another attempt. Well, if I was the Greek coach and I was aware of the time, I'm not sure they were aware of the time, to be honest, because the, we can see the clock, but where they are, they can't. That buzzer tells him that he's got under 30 seconds. And the result at half-time is that the United Sabanese of uh, Greece has got the snatch gold medal with 145 kilos, a two and a half kilo advantage over Pashalov. And it wasn't far from being over his head, but he didn't get enough height. No, and uh, all that messing about in the warm-up room and messing about with the jury, it, it doesn't do you any good. Pretty unsatisfactory. And I think that Sabanese there, I think he was uh, hard done by. I really do. Yes, I, th I think that that could have cost him dearly. Every, every two and a half kilos, when you're lifting against a man like Pashalov, every two and a half kilo counts. So their confirmation, Sabanis gets the snatch gold, 145 kilos, a two and a half kilo advantage to carry forward into the second half, the clean and jerk phase. Minchev, it is, of Bulgaria, who gets the bronze medal. You can see there with 100, the same as his compatriot, Stefan Gorgiev, but he, the lighter man, by 140 grams. And then Suleiman Oglu and the rest. Well, we're going to take a short little break here on Eurosport. Come back and join us here in the Coliseum for the clean and jerk after these messages here on Eurosport. <laughs> The Motorcycle World Championships are back and all 16 rounds are right here on Eurosport. No motorsport has more thrills than this. The Malaysian Grand Prix qualifying practice Friday and Saturday 6 a.m. UK time and the race Sunday at 4 a.m. all live on Eurosport. In the early stages, and the man in picture there, Hafiz uh, Sulemanoglu, in some trouble. To his second attempt at 162 and a half kilos already. Alexei Bortkov of Russia, having taken his three clean and jerks for 160 to give himself a total of 285, and he leads the competition. But Sulemanoglu. Soon find out whether he has had problems with that leg. Well, after two failures and a, and a possible injury to the knee, to succeed with this would, would be a, a supreme effort, both physically and, and psychologically. Very difficult to come back if you've hurt yourself, especially on the third attempt. And he's coming in two and a half kilos heavier than he oh. predicted. And... Uh, the odds were never good, and I'm afraid he without a total. And the man who's known as Zero, I'm afraid, has got another one to add to an all-too-long list. Cinnamon Oglu finishes there, and now we move on to Oleshuk. Gennady Oleshuk representing uh, Belarus at the halfway stage in sixth place, having uh, snatched 130 kilos. And I wonder what this man can do at this second phase. Well, his, his, his build suggests that uh, he's going to be much better on the clean and jerk. Very, very heavily muscled. And in fact, putting the bar man. up to 165 now for his opening attempt. And whilst they sort the bar out, just to remind you, our email address, Eurosport, low slash, weight, at hot.com, and our website, www.weightliftingdata.org. And... We'll be pleased to hear from you live tomorrow at 5.30 for 
the 69 kilos competition for men. 4.30, of course, across the British Isles. And again, we're back at 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock for all of you across Great Britain for the 77 kilo clash. Well, that looked uh, very good to me. Good start. And looks to be a good choice of weight to come in at 165. I think there's certainly two and a half kilos more. Whether there's five, we will find out. Well, he's definitely built for the clean and jerk. Massive legs, short arms. Rule powerhouse. First attempt for Nikolai Kesharov. You consider that these men are only weighing nine stone ten. Yes, yeah, so the amount of muscle that they're carrying. Olashuk weighing in at 61.85. There's Sabanis. A failure on his uh, third snatch, so his attempt at the world record. But it was a, a lift for nothing, really, because Pashalov had failed in his gamble to put him under even greater pressure but it's not over by any means because Sabanis only has a two and a half kilo advantage over Pashalov who is pretty useful at the uh, clean and jerk and indeed is the uh, European record holder at 172 and a half kilo and that's seven and a half below the world standard but here's Sabanis coming in at 170 I didn't expect this. This is just two and a half kilos below the European record. So Savanese is going for it. But there's still three athletes that haven't even started yet. So maybe that 180 isn't such a dream. Yakovu in the background really barking the orders out and Sabanis getting three white lights. Now, just to put that into context, Sabanis, who was in silver medal position last year, could not, in the clean and jerk, pick up 162 and a half kilos. So that's a measure of a difference of a year. And in the World Championship, he did manage 172 and a half, but that was on his third and final lift, and that's set. And, now, and, if, and if I remember correctly, it was an absolute limit attempt, whereas that 170 that he just did looked relatively comfortable. So it'll be interesting to see what Pashalov can do with this 170. Pashalov uh, in the clean and jerk again in the World Championships, he uh, opened up on 172 and a half and then went for two attempts at 177 and a half. He was playing massive catch up. But if you remember, he, he only failed because of technique. Strength was there. So let's see what he can do with this. And that's the lead in the clean, in the clean and jerk because of his lighter body weight over Sabanis. So he's still two and a half kilos adrift, though. Yes, on the total. And now puts it over his head and uh, steadies the feet and puts them in line. Lifters seem to be getting hamstring pulls. Perhaps it's because... Uh, this auditorium is not very warm, it's very, very cold. Well, it's a huge auditorium, it's actually an indoor bull ring, and the fact is that when it's empty, there's not enough body heat. This is Oleshuk out for his uh, third attempt. Yes, deciding that two minutes wasn't long enough to rest. It's his second attempt on 117, his third. So opting to increase to 172.5, just to give himself time to Get it together. Tell 
There's the drive up, which he does. Now, can he get it right this time? Looks to be yes, needs to get the feet in line. Oh. And, oh. He couldn't hold on to it. What a pity. He ends on 295 kilos. And currently rests in sixth place. Well, that's a shame. Made a really good effort there. Drove the bar straight to arm's length this time. And then right at the last minute, just couldn't get his feet in line and had to let it go behind. Yes, he was just a little weak on the, on the split. You could see the right knee was buckling. He never quite established that. And from that moment on, he was, he was just fighting and unfortunately didn't quite win out. Bashalov being massaged, and he's got some problems now. That two and a half kilo deficit behind Sabanis at the halfway stage, and now that failure, it really put thing, puts things against him. Sabanis, of course, will be taking heart from all of this because he may be able to, or he may think he can adopt a more conservative approach. But having said that, and he said that the bar is going to 175, Dave. And 175 kilos is or will be, if he lifts it, a new European record and will be five kilos short of the world standard. Yes, but and this, this will really put the pressure on Pashalov. This, of course, is heavier than Pashalov, but nonetheless, you're absolutely right. This will make the task, as it was in the World Championships, really hard. Pashalov will be forced to go for something really big. Pashalov will be forced to go for 177.5, which would be a, a European record. And with an injury. Well, maybe the fortune sways a little bit the other way now. The problem is, though, David, is, is that the bar has gone to 175 kilos, which means that Pashalov has got to take 175 kilos, and maybe 172.5 would have been enough. And uh, there are two men here who've got two lifts to go. Both of them Bulgarian. This is the first of them. And in the wing, Sevdalin Minchev. And we've got some interesting words from him, which I'm going to save until we see him. But this is an attempt again at a European clean and jerk record. 175 kilos. Gorgiev. And a personal best by five kilos. This would give Gorgiev a total of 315 kilos. And he is 20 grams lighter than Sabanin. So he would go into the overall lead as well. He looks really good. Oh. But I'm surprised at the ease with which he, he pulled that weight to the shoulders and then stood up with it. And there's uh, Nuri Khan, you just caught a, a moment of him. So this is an interesting situation. We've, we've got three athletes in a row, all attempt Euro the European record. And now here is uh, Sevdan and Minchev, and on again for a European record. Now, in the World Championships, he got the bronze medal, and he said, well, the bronze is very good, but my goal was... My goal was to get the gold medal. There are so many things I can improve on in my preparation for the future. And in Finland, well, they all said it was Sabanis and Pashalov, but don't rule me out next year. Well, next year is now. And there it is. New European record. And Sevdalin Minchev takes himself to the top of the clean and jerk table and to the top of the overall table. And remember that he actually missed out in the snatch in terms of the gold and silver. He was in the bronze medal position, but he a medal of a much brighter colour now because he's got the money. He's got the kilos there. And, of course, he's got one more attempt. So Pashalov now comes out on 175. This, this would give him the lead. 
by virtue of his lighter body weight. No, this would give him the lead by virtue of lighter body weight. And remember, he snatched two and a half kilos more than the Bulgarian. So. This is going to take character. Which he may have. Not with a little difficulty has he made the clean. Come on. Well, that's Fighting incredible. for it. Oh. I thought that was going to be there. I really thought it. But that is really shades of what happened in the World Championships. He found himself being forced into positions of lifting weights, in this case when he was sustaining and carrying an injury from the previous lift. Now Sabanis. Sabanis needs this. He needs this to go back into the lead. This is, this is crucial. Well, he can't take the lead in the clean and jerk, but he can go back into the lead in the overall. Yeah. Oh, it looks heavy. He's not going to do it. Uh, it's a no lift, and I'm afraid that means that Leonidas ends with a total of 315 kilos, which is only good enough for the silver medal position. So it's now a fight between the two Bulgarians. They're the only two athletes left in this competition. Georgiev and Minchev. And Minchev leading at the moment by virtue of lighter body weight. Sabanik's just unable there to deal with it. There's Georgiev. And just to add a little bit more to that uh, quotation from Sevdalin Minchev, he said this was back in November of last year, but next year they should consider me in the battle for the title. I believe this category will be Bulgarian. Well, this category, the European version of it anyway, is going to be Bulgarian. So he's got that right, but which one? <laughs> So the bar now at 177.5 kilos, so just 2.5 kilos below that world standard. Well, Georgiev is heavier by 140 grams than Minchev, so he's got to do this if he wants to go for the overall title. So this, will, this will put him into the lead and give him a new European clean and jerk record. And talk about high stakes poker. Come on, come on, come on! Oh. And I think the word disappointment would be an understatement. It is, because the problem is that it leaves him middle in the overall championship because he's down in fourth place. And Minchev, who is the only person to, left, to lift, is in the gold medal position in both the clean and jerk and the overall and cannot be deposed. So and has a lift for fun. So will he, will he go for the world standard? Will he take 180? He's already got the gold medal in the clean and jerk, the gold medal in the total. And, of course, the bronze from the snatch. Well, he might as well. At this stage, he might as well go for the world standard. But at the moment, it says 177 and a half on the bar. Maybe Abajiev's saying, no, we can do that another time. Well, this is, this is still, remember, this is still a European record. Yes. So, so it's not as if he's going for nothing here. So this for a total of uh, 317 and a half. Leonidas and Minchev have got 315 and body weight is separating them. So this is for a clean outright victory. And of course a new record. Good clean. Yes, come on, hold on. Feet together, feet, together feet together and hold. Come on, stop moving. 
Yes. Oh. No, I think, yes, there we go. How long did the judges want? They were satisfied in the end. That is the European record. And I'll remind you what Sevdal and Mincef said. The bronze here at the World Championships, this was last November, was my goal. The bronze is good, but my goal was gold. There are so many things I can improve on. The duel here in Lati was between Leonidas Sabanis and Nikolai Pashalov, but next year they said to me. He knew what he was talking about. He is the European champion of 1999 with a European clean and jerk record of 177 and a half kilos, which was hard earned. And uh, Yakavu up at the jury's table, not happy about uh, something there. Quite a lot of Greek consternation around there, but Minchev has got this, and uh, the Bulgarian machine rolls on. Clean was good. Yes, the clean left you thinking that perhaps uh, this 180 kilos is not so far away. And look at that, look at the fight there. Having already won the competition, still determined to increase that European record in the clean and jerk. And you can count the seconds for yourself, the seconds that he had over his head until he got those three white lights. This man is in very good form. And that's just a fraction under 400 pounds. Remember, these men weigh nine stone, 10 pounds. Yes, yeah, Sevdali Minchev, who weighed in something like three hours ago at 61 kilos 50 hoisting 177 and a half kilos over his head uh, as near as damn it three times his body weight really good effort to round off this men's competition plenty to come live tomorrow at 5 30 for the men's 69 kilo competition and i urge you with us to be with us tomorrow night again if you can eight o'clock central european time seven for all of you across the british isles and watching on british eurosport for the 77 kilo and uh, in chef there European champion back in 1992 and since then he's had uh, a, a whole string of silver medals silver in 93 again in 94 and in 95 and in 96 and in 97 and finally regaining that title and that's why so much delight because he's been so close but today it's all been terribly worthwhile and just another look at that record stands still in the end takes a step back make sure that the weight lands on the platform and there it is, a new record of 177.5. That's a five kilo increase over the old record of 172.5. And uh, just waiting for the confirmation of the results. Should be with us at any moment, the clean and jerk and also the total results to round off. Uh, an interesting competition, full of controversy. The jury asleep during the first half, the snatch, which certainly uh, played a part in the fortunes of Afis Solimanoglu and Leonidas Sabanis. As you say, the critical point could well have been if Sabanis had have got that extra two and a half kilos, well, he, he still would have been beaten on body weight as it happens. We know that now, that's hindsight. But, of course, we but didn't know course, it then. But, of course, he, he, he may have taken 172.5 instead of 175, in which case things would have been completely different. So the whole competition different had he have taken 147.5 and, and succeeded. Clean and jerk. Gold medal to Bulgaria. Sevdalin Minchev with three very good lifts there in the clean and jerk. And then Pashalov of Croatia caught out again and forced to go uh, not a route which he could manage and Georgiev uh, getting into the bronze medal position by virtue of his 
thir his first lift, but only by virtue of his lighter body weight, just 20 grams lighter than Sabanis, and Sabanis not getting a medal in the clean and jerk. Sabanis, of course, the European silver medalist, but more importantly, the world champion. And that's a big surprise, because all the reports we'd had of Sabanis, all we'd seen of him, suggested that he was going to be a major contender here. So that is really a bit of a turn-up. But we should have uh, heeded Minchev's words. He said he was going to improve this, and that's exactly what he's done. Incidentally, for those of you joining us perhaps for the first time at these championships, you can see two platforms down there. Those are used for the preliminary competitions earlier in the day to speed things along, but just one platform used for, of course, the final. And there's uh, congratulations all round, but Minchev absolutely delighted. And former Bulgarian teammates, uh, Minchev, Today has the call over the man who now represents Croatia. The Croatians, I think they've got to work out their tactics a lot better with Minchev. They don't seem to have harmonized. 